This one's for my maybes, slash possiblys, and every single wannabe. Welcome to our generation. I follow stories on Snapchat over Tories and Liberal Democrats. Don't pay attention to the news as it ensues to give me the blues. My Twitter feed allows me to read anything that I choose. And the only message I am delivering to you is this. Live life exactly as you wish. I'm not interested in Prince Harry or William, the Middletons and the next generation Boy George. I don't vote because all of our supposed leaders and their policies to me are a joke. I pick up newspapers for the sports pages, though soon they too will grow outdated. But so what? I hold all the information I could ever want at the touch of a button. We didn't evolve to where we are today without undergoing lots of changes. You should never allow anybody to dictate what you can or can't do. It's okay to reshape who you are to be something nobody else is. In fact, it's a gift. So hopefully, the next time you sing that song about holding the world in the palm of your hand, you'll understand. Accept us, or you reject us. You either accept us, or you reject us. You either accept us for who we are, or reject us for what we're not. And it may sound crazy, but this is our generation. You either accept us or you reject us, but there's no way we'll let it affect us. The way you address us, do you not respect us? You expect us to do as you did, but surely that's purely for your benefit. Are we going to gain anything? Is it because we wear suits for the track with Adidas trainers, hoods and caps? Step into my Timberland boot and it's unsurprising that the shoe doesn't appear to fit. Just because we don't choose to follow in your footsteps doesn't mean we are going down the wrong path. It's quite the opposite. The road we are taking is made of yellow bricks. Originally, it was known as the road to the Emerald City until the film changed its name to what we know it as today. You need to step into the darkroom and find our light because we are the focus whether you like it or not and we only get one shot so we've got to make sure to capture it. We are the future whether we like it or not and time doesn't stop. All of our clocks are ticking. Because we're still yet to invent time travel, or a hoverboard, or find a cure for cancer. We want to abolish corruption, extortion, racism, sexism, terrorism, famine, poverty, animal cruelty, and so many other things. Curiosity is one of the greatest secrets to happiness, and I don't believe for one second that it has ever actually killed a cat. Because we want to believe that we can be different, and we can make a change. Let's start today. I said, we want to believe that we can be different and we can make a change. Let's start today. We have traditions in Great Britain, which are under criticism. We can no longer believe our politicians who seem to think that we are insignificant. You make promises on your policies, which are only to gain our following. Try taking some truth pills instead of the blue pills. It might revive your election and insight. Only then will you find us riding on your campaign bus. And if that's what you want, then it's change you must make. And by that, I don't mean you making more money by taking my money from me. I mean you must literally change your entire philosophy. What if I were to take money from you? Would that not be a crime? Would it not bother you? What if someone you should be able to trust broke that relationship? Would it not be unjust? What if you were made to believe in something only to find out you'd be deceived? But it's not just the politicians. It's our parents, carers, teachers, corporations, police, the entire media industry. We're only told what you want us to hear, but now it's our turn and we want to be heard. No longer like sheep, 
it's time you let us lead. So take a moment to think, because we're waiting patiently. Thank you, James Leach. Hashtag Team Millennial. Us. You either accept us, or you reject us.